Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. Today we're going to talk about the T-Rex input options called layers. When you are growing a T-Rex boundary layer, you have two very important options called layers. They are max layers and full layers. You can see them here inside the red oval. First, let's talk about max layers. When the T-Rex boundary layer extrusion algorithm is running, it will grow layer upon layer of anisotropic triangles for 2D and anisotropic tetrahedrals for 3D. It will continue to grow those layers until the cells reach a state of isotropy. Let's see how it works. Select your domain, and then go to the grid menu and select T-Rex. It should bring up four tabs. On the T-Rex tab is an input box called Max Layers. Now here you should enter an integer that represents how many layers you would like to allow pointwise to grow T-Rex layers until it hits isotropy. I usually set a number to a relatively large value, like 40 or 50, to guarantee that all of my stacks of cells reach isotropy. Depending on your model, you may need more or less. And if you use a number that is too small, it will lead to the T-Rex algorithm ending prematurely. In this example, let's just use 40. Switch over to the Solve tab and push Initialize. Aha, there we have our T-Rex layers. Let's go back to the T-Rex tab and take a look at our second option called Full Layers. Right now it's set to zero. Sometimes isotropy is reached immediately, and so transition to the isotropic solver happens immediately as well. Now if your solver requires at least one full layer, then you may want to set full layers equal to one. If you need to guarantee full layers out to maybe a certain distance, then you can experiment with larger values of full layers for this input parameter. And one more thing. The full layer setting also acts as a trigger for how many grid normals will protrude from sharp corners. Let's take a look at this 2D example again. If you set the full layers equal to zero, then you will cause multiple normals to extrude from the corner like this. You can see the two normals shooting out of the corner right here. However, if you set full layers equal to 1 or greater, then you will only get a single normal protruding from that corner, like this. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.